Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to tell you 28 things to do every day in Animal Crossing. So when you're bored, when you don't really have a daily routine, you will definitely find something in this video to do. <laughs> We're going to start with checking your mail every day. You will get a new piece of mail every day. It can be from your villagers, from some other random Animal Crossing characters, whatever it is. Always check your mail, read the letters that you get, check the presents that you get as well. I think it's just so fun. Then also pick up your weeds. Every day new weeds will spawn, especially near flowers. So have a look out for that. Keep your island clean. And if you haven't been on your island in a little while, then you will get the same situation as me and you will have a lot of weeds to clean up. Luckily, I think it's actually rather satisfying. So I'm not very mad about doing it, but just keep your island clean. It's just, you know, avoid this. <laughs> take care of your flowers if it has rained if you water your flowers or if you haven't been by it in a while it is most likely that your flowers have reproduced duplicated whatever so clean it up get rid of the flowers that you don't want or place them somewhere else and if you're actually trying to duplicate your flowers then water them take care of them as well keep your island pretty take care of your flowers next one is shake your trees it might be a little boring but it is so worth it because the amount of money that i got from shaking all of my trees today is insane i got so much money i couldn't keep count but anyway every day you can find an item in a tree and it can literally be anything and it's just really fun it's a fun detail so shake your trees next one is rather simple but it is finding your bottle on the beach every day a new bottle on your beach will spawn it can be anywhere on your island so just have a good look around read the letter that is inside and learn the new recipe <laughs> it is never wrong to get more recipes never ever i think it's also fun to check nook's crannies and able sisters every day nook's cranny will have new items every day also in the cabinet that is to the right of the store you will find new flowers it will also also have new wallpaper and flooring for your house new miscellaneous items but also big items that you can only buy one of and sometimes there are seasonal items to left of the store so check it out it's definitely worth it there could be some fun item that you've been looking for right there waiting for you in next cranny so check it out also able sisters might have something fun for you even though i'm definitely all the way for the design items that other people make i still check able sisters from time to time because they could have very cute accessories shoes or just a really cute dress that i just need to have plus i talk to stable every day because i have learned that you can actually build a bond with her now, I don't know the extent of it, but it seems worth it to me. Also, check the Nook Mall shop. Definitely stop by the Nook Stop anyway, because you will get free Nook Miles if you stop by every day. It's definitely worth your while. And if you keep doing it every day, it'll build up and become more Nook Miles. And at some point, you will get 300 Nook Miles every day just for free without doing anything. So <laughs> it's definitely worth it to check it out. And also check the items that are there because they change daily as well. While you're there, check the recycling bin because there can sometimes be just a regular item in there that you can sell for a lot of money or that you can actually use to decorate your home with so it's definitely worth checking it out from time to time next one is talk to your villagers at least the ones that you want to keep anyway look at my villagers just sitting here together eating ice cream it is such a precious moment i just i had to talk to them i love them all so much it's just fun to talk to your villagers build a bond become friendly bring them presents they will give you presents back it's just really fun Fun. talk to them be their friend next one is catch bugs and fish as you might know there will be different bugs and fish at different hours of the day in different seasons different months so just look around catch butterflies or bugs on trees bugs on plants when it rains there will be snails so the weather also brings different um, bugs i don't know if the weather has effects on fish but still also fish in different parts of your island so in the sea but also in the river and in the pond because there will be different fish as well donate the ones that you haven't donated yet to the museum it'll be so rewarding when you have all of them donated i am still waiting for that moment and the rest you can sell in next crannies for bells or if flick or the fish guy is there you can sell to them for more money <laughs> What you can also do is collecting recipes from your villagers. 
Every day you can collect up to three recipes from your villagers. They will be building or cooking when you come inside their house. Of course, they have to be home in order for them to even be building or cooking. And I do believe that you can't find all of them in the morning or the afternoon. I think you can find like, for example, one in the morning, two in the afternoon, but never all three in the morning, for example. So keep that in mind when you're looking for the recipes. Then also plant your money tree. If you do this, every day then it will be so rewarding because you will get so much money because you dig up a thousand and you bury ten thousand from the tree you'll shake thirty thousand so you can gain so much money by doing this every day it's definitely worth doing this every day next one is hitting all of your rocks you can get a lot of crafting materials this way and even a gold nugget as you can see here those actually sell for a lot so that is really great but this is more about your money rock just like a money tree you have a daily money rock and with this you can earn up to 16,400 bells which is so worth it <laughs> i suggest digging holes behind you so that you won't have to keep moving forward to hit your money rock it's definitely worth doing this every day then also find all of your fossils you can get three to five fossils every day and you can donate the ones to the museum that you haven't donated yet and the rest you can sell which is also again a nice way to earn money next one is look for presents you don't really have to go balloon hunting for like half an hour but when you do come across a balloon shoot it out of the air get your balloon get your present because there can be anything in that present literally anything so it's definitely worth just shooting down the balloons and i think it's so fun because i'm a very curious person so i always like to know what's inside and turn up your volume because you can actually hear the balloons if you're really bored you can do nook mile tasks every day you have certain tasks that you can do and the first ones actually will gain you more than usual which is just a really nice and quick way to earn a lot of nook miles and nook miles are always nice to have then also take care of your crops as you can see i did not really tend to these crops in a while but it's fine it doesn't matter harvest your crops and water them daily if you water them daily you can actually get three vegetables out of them instead of one and it'll go a lot faster it's definitely worth it and you can sell them for a lot if you have a good amount of crops you can make a lot of money that way definitely then also check out your campsite visitor of course if you have one isabel will tell you so at the beginning when you log in if you do it's definitely worth checking it out it can literally be anyone it could be a dreamy that you have been waiting for for so long in my case it was not a dreamy but <laughs> and it's also fun to see all of the animals in animal crossing honestly then this next one is a little bit more random but buy coffee from brewster every day if you do buy coffee from brewster regularly then he will give you recipes at some point the coffee doesn't cost a lot i believe they're about 200 bells if you do then every once in a while brewster will give you a recipe when you leave and it's just really fun it's just a fun detail you can also buy a cup of coffee to go i don't know if it has the same effect i don't see why not buy coffee it's fun also check the announcement boards you will know if you have a new message when you see the yellow bird on top of it or the owl at night when there are seasonal items in the game it is fun to look for the seasonal items or participate in any event that is going on like a fish off a bug off whatever this is just a short clip for my easter update so i will link it in the description if you want to check it out also look for visitors that may be on your island today i had flick which is a more obvious one but you can also have gulliver or wisp which only comes at night um it is just fun to see what visitors you have or you can even have leaf in the square or whatever then you can also go to harv's island if you haven't unlocked harv's island yet then look out for harv on your island and after that keep an eye out on your mail because you will receive a letter from him this is kind of like a marketplace type thing i love it so much you can unlock these characters and they will be here every day and Harriet from time to time will be there with a new haircut to offer you which is definitely fun so you can actually collect more hairstyles that way I have a few extra daily tasks for those of you who have happy on paradise that are also fun to do every day and worth checking out so first of all check the shop every day just like Nook's Cranny there will be new items every day so definitely check it out there might be something really fun and also on the happy home paradise you will find a bottle every single day 
today with a recipe. They're actually different from the ones that you will get on your own island, so it is definitely worth checking it out. Another fun secret is that you can get a recipe from the chef at your restaurant every day as well. Little spoiler, if you're not that far ahead, you will have to build a restaurant and of course you will assign someone to be the chef. Now every day you can talk to the chef and get a recipe. Of course this is a food recipe, not a normal recipe, but I think this is such a fun detail. Go talk to your chef every day for a new food recipe. What is also really fun is talking to your Happy Home Paradise villagers, the ones that you've built a home for, because if you didn't know, when you have just built someone a home, they will give you something to show their appreciation. It's just a small thing, you know, and you will get something fun to decorate your own home with. So definitely worth doing this. And last but not least, decorate in Happy Home Paradise. Build a new home or a new facility. It is just really fun, in my opinion. You can even go back to the ones that you've built previously and spruce those up. I personally think it's really fun. That was it for this video. I hope you have a bunch of new things to do. You can also check out my other videos, my Happy Home Paradise videos, whatever you like. And I will see you soon in a new video.